my channel and in today's video I am going to attempt to paint with this bunch of broken crayons that I got from work they were throwing them away so I thought I'll see if I can turn them into art so I'm going to try and paint with them which might sound a bit crazy but we'll see if it works and I'm going to be painting on these tiny little canvases so let's get on with it So to paint with the crayons, I'm going to be trying to melt them down with my hairdryer. Not quite sure what brand hairdryer is. It is a standard hairdryer that I've had for years. Probably should invest in a new one. But I am putting it on the lower setting, but the higher temperature. So it's um, lower airflow, but higher temperature to melt the crayons. And I'm just putting the crayon onto the canvas and melting it and moving the crayon around and it kind of gives a watercolour effect and actually it got quite hot on my hand and I was starting to really feel the heat on my hand so I ended up getting some tweezers which I now have to buy a new set of tweezers because because the wax melted onto them but I would recommend you use tweezers if you try this yourself. I would also recommend not putting the crayons that you are using next to your painting like I have here because it looks quite cool for video making purposes but after a while the crayons just melted onto my desk which looks quite cool but wasn't really that great because I ended up having to throw them away thankfully it's not my bare desk it's just some paper that I have down so my desk wasn't ruined or anything but yeah don't put the crayons that you are using or want to use again next to a hot hairdryer because they will melt. That is my top tip, my art hack for you today. So I think this isn't the point now where I was really starting to feel the heat on my hands. It's really quite silly to try and do it with my hands right next to the hot hairdryer. So this is where I got my tweezers and it was much easier, although once it started to melt a bit too much, it was quite difficult to it was quite difficult to grip the crayon because it was like melting out of the tweezer so that wasn't so good but yeah I really enjoyed this technique I decided to first try a galaxy because I thought melting the crayons into each other would look quite cool I thought it would be a good idea to try and do a watercolor galaxy effect and I found that I'm actually better at watercolor when I'm not using watercolor when I'm using other things that aren't watercolor like crayons or watercolor pencils things like that. I'm much better at the watercolour effect when I'm not using watercolour, which is weird, but we'll just go with it. So I'm using a mixture of blue, purple and black crayons and a little bit of pink, although I didn't use too much pink in the end, but I wanted to give it a little bit of contrast, so I used a bit of pink. And the good thing about this technique is that the crayons dry and harden onto the canvas quite quickly because you know me I'm very impatient when it comes to letting things dry so it's really good because it dries really quickly and that is probably why I'm better at this than I am with watercolour because it dries so quickly and you can just add some more layers and yeah it does give a really interesting effect but you can see look how those crayons have melted and yeah it's just making a massive mess on my desk but that's fine i need to get better at making a mess in art because i'm not very good i like to control things um when i am working in art i like to have quite a controlled look so this is good for me so once i had finished and it had dried fully i got some white acrylic paint to do the stars and i used my toothbrush that i use for art it's not my toothbrush that i use to clean my teeth i used it to flick on some stars and i also added some acrylic paint to make some bigger stars as well with a paintbrush like you would normally do with a galaxy so if you are new to my channel welcome my name is katie i make art videos i do quite a lot of challenge videos a bit like this one i have done another crayon video where i drew a red panda using crayola crayons and i will leave a link to that up above and at the end if you want to go check that out they were crayola crayons so different to these ones because these crayons are quite cheap but there are i think a few crayolas dotted in there and i think it's why they melted quite nicely because there was quite a lot of wax in these crayons i know that sounds stupid because they are wax crayons but wax crayons don't always have a great deal of pigment so there was more wax than pigment so that is why they melted quite nicely onto the canvas i think so anyway if you are new please feel free to subscribe if you like this video and um, do hit the notification bell as well because youtube doesn't always put new videos into your subscription box but it does occasionally send you a notification if 
if it feels like it so do hit the bell and i do have my own little mouse character called charlie and i think i'm going to do another charlie video next week because it's been a while and i have missed him so do feel free to subscribe and also if you like this video you know emotionally do leave it a like down below as that does really help me out So for the second piece, I had an idea in my head when I was planning this video that I wanted to do a hedgehog that had like rainbow spikes that were melting into each other. Not really explain it very well. I don't really explain myself very well, but you can see what I mean hopefully on the canvas. I thought that would look really cool and this one does have quite a good watercolour effect. So I drew the hedgehog's body on first with some fine liners. I think it was one of my Unipin liners. I drew that on first and then I melted the crayons on top, starting from red, then orange, then yellow, then green, then blue, then a bit of purple, you know, standard rainbow colours. And this worked really well. I was really pleased with how this turned out. I think the hedgehog looks really, really cute. Although I don't think the spike colours look dark enough but I really like how the colours are melting and how if you move the canvas around a little bit you can get it to go where you want to although be careful to not hit the high setting on the hairdryer because that will blow the canvas across your desk which happened a few times during this video you might have noticed and also you can see that there is a really nice pool of melted crayon just oozing away in the background there which looks really really nice and juicy but but that is a product of my stupidity. So like I said, make sure you move the crayons away because you will get a mess like that. So once the crayons had dried a bit, I did go try and go over the top, but that was a little bit of a mistake because that did just lift the melted crayon back off. So I had to get the hair dry again and just correct that little mistake. So when I had finished with the watercolor bit, not really watercolor, but that's like the, the best way I can describe it. It looks like watercolor. A lot of people thought it was watercolour when I showed them a picture of this little hedgehog. They thought I'd done it in watercolour, but I hadn't. It's melted crayon. But anyway, I did the body of the hedgehog in some browns and peaches, kind of half melted, half not melted. And then I went over the top of the, of the rainbow spikes with my Faber-Castell brush pen, although it's not a very good brush pen because I'm not very good at brush pens. So the end of it is on its last legs. So I went in with this to um, define some spikes and I also went in with the white acrylic as well on the body and also on the spikes just to make sure that it definitely looked like hedgehog spikes and it wasn't just something coming out of the bushes. And I really like how this piece turned out. I think it was really, really cute. And I would definitely be trying this technique again with the crayons that I did manage to save from the pool of melted wax. But yeah, I really, really pleased with how it turned out. And I really like the galaxy as well. And I think it's a really good technique for using old crayons. And so you don't just throw them away. So I would recommend you try this out. And if you do try it out, do tag me in social media. I'd love to see what you create. I'm a very firm believer in the fact that you do not need expensive art supplies to make art. You can be creative with limited resources and I have a playlist of quite a lot of videos where I show you how you can be creative with limited resources such as bullet dead markers, stationery, all that kind of thing. So do check that out if you are interested. But yeah, we're coming to the end of the video now. I will show you at the end how the pieces both turned out on a clean desk. I managed to remove all of the puddles of wax but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video on thursday bye for now